What's up, guys? It's Malcolm. Be on Malcolm Talks. How y'all feeling? Y'all doing all right? That's good. Yeah, I know I don't put out videos nearly enough, but I did want to put this one out. It's sort of a ramble. On this video, I want to talk about my head and the history of my head and some of the things that I've gone through with my head, like my physical head. When I was a kid, I used to get talked about a lot because I had a big, big head. And people used to call me things like malcranium, dome, all kind of stuff, man. Like, it was tough too, bro, because people come by, smack me on the back of my head, and I was like, hold on, bro, that's enough of that. That's enough of that. I'm going to have to start swinging on folks. Like, I know y'all just playing, but come on, man. Little things like that. I didn't have a ball head, you know, back then. I'm going to get into that in a minute, but... You know, my mama used to cut my hair, so it's like she didn't really put a blend around the side. Like from the front, it looks straight, but when you turn sideways or get a mirror, when I got old enough to realize I need a mirror so I can see the back of my head, man. Back of my head didn't have no blend. I mean, it, it, it kind of did, but it wasn't nearly enough. Because with a fade, man, and you in high school, Cause I was in ninth grade. I remember my mom was still cutting my hair in ninth grade, man. And so I'm in high school, ninth grade, in homeroom, and people behind me snickering. I'm like, the hell are they laughing at? And I heard one of the girls say, he don't even got a blend. I heard her say that. And I was like, oh, hell no. My mom ain't doing me like that, is she? But hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. My granddaddy has a barber college. So I'm gonna tell you how deep it gets. My granddaddy has a barber college, right? That's my mom's dad. He passed away, God rest his soul. He passed away a while ago. He was like 88 years old. He had a barber college called Brown's Barber College right here in Atlanta, Georgia for 50 years, right? And so I said, mom, you know, you gotta put a blend back there. It's no blend, mom. I appreciate you, but she said, well, you're going to have to learn how to cut your own hair or either get some money and go out and pay for it yourself. So I said, learn to cut my own hair. Hmm. She said, yep, you're going to barber school. We're going to start sending you to barber school. So every summer I had to go to barber school. And I was driving uh, to barber school with my granddaddy every morning for like three summers. I never got my license, but I got great with cutting hair. I cut hair all through college cut hair all through high school, cut my own hair. Used to be fresh as hell coming to school. Always had a lineup. Because, you know, a lot of times a lineup will put you in the game. And I'm going to get back to my head in a minute. But the lineup will put you in the game. So I always had a haircut. So let's fast forward a little bit. Uh, at this point, I'm starting to grow into my head a little bit. Right now I'm six feet, about 200 pounds. Well, actually I'm about 215 to keep it real. But at that time, about six feet, about 200. And so I'm growing into my head now. Because my head used to be big, lollipop big. Now, you know, it's more of an even distribution. But when I was in college, my, my freshman, sophomore year of college, my hair started falling out right at the top. Just started falling out. I kept getting brush cuts. Brush cut is when the hair is low and you just line it up all the way around. My brush cut kept getting lower and lower and lower and it got to the point the brush cut wasn't nothing but a shadow. That's how short the hair was. I was like, damn man, I can't keep living this life. Nowadays, you know, people got a little spray and stuff. They can make the hair darker and all this other stuff. I think that's, I don't, I don't like it personally, but I feel you, if, this, if you got a choice between that and walking around like George Jefferson, yeah, you want to use that Chinay spray or whatever they call it. You want to use the spray for that. But, so eventually I was like, man, I'm going to have to go bald head, man. And I was scared. I just remember, I was like, damn, I don't want to do this. But one day I just did it. I cut it all off. I was walking around. I thought I looked crazy as hell, man. Because back then, if you had a bald head, it was almost like, it was almost like you were, um, something was wrong with you because it's like why do you have a bald head in college <laughs> nobody did that everybody else had the fades the, a box high right low left fat back temp fades all this stuff i tried to let my hair grow out 
hoping that if I put and let enough grow, then it'll be able to kind of shield the fact that my hair was receding at the top. Eventually went bald and then people liked my bald head. And I was surprised because the person I saw in the mirror, I didn't really like that. But everybody else was like, no, nah, I look, look cool. It looks like it fits you. I was like, oh damn. So then as time went on, that's what I was rocking, my bald head. Became known as a guy with the bald head. You might not be able to see it now, but it's, it's quite clean. Um, I don't really get bumps, nothing like that. You know, I, I know how to cut my hair with a razor. That's why I keep it so clean. Everywhere I go, man, like, I think I went to the beauty supply place because I wanted to get some more clippers. Some more clippers for my, uh, not, not the clippers, but the guards. I needed some more guards because I used to still cut hair on the side or whatever. The man behind the counter was like, excuse me, sir. Man, you have a nice bald head, man. Your head, your head's so nice. I said, oh, man, I appreciate it. You're like, what product you use for your head? I'm like, he was an Asian guy. I'm like, I mean, soap and water, brother. Man, it look really nice, man. I said, well, thank you, brother. Thank you. Went to work, my boss, this lady, man, she was like, oh, my God, your head. I just want to touch it. Your head is just perfect. I said, well, thank you. Uh, thanks a lot. And it would be numerous days she'll just be i just catch her looking at me she'll be like your head oh my god and i'm like <laughs> you tripping but the head the head that i have which used to be the object of ridicule has now become almost a power symbol i don't know what it is now man so i take pride in my head now i make sure i keep a bald head and i make sure i keep it clean man because you do not want to be looking like George Jefferson walking around here, bro. You just can't do it. Not in 2023. So shout out to all the people that hair stopped growing, man. And you went ahead and got the bald head and it worked out for you. I feel sorry for you guys whose hair is a little more coarse. As soon as it come up out the follicle, it start curling immediately because that's what causes those bumps. If you're here, comes out of your scalp and start immediately curling up into a strong knot, kind of like Kevin Durant, then that's gonna pose a problem if you try to go in a bald head situation. I don't really have too much advice for you. Like I said, I don't have any product advice. All I can say, man, is just use a lot of rubbing alcohol on your head and try to scrub it from time to time. If something itches on your head, do not scratch with your hand, with your fingernails. Your fingernails are nasty as hell, man. Get you a washcloth or something. Put some 90% rubbing alcohol on that washcloth. Get it nice and wet and just scrub back there. Just scrub wherever it's itching, just scrub because you need to clean that area. You need to disinfect it. Otherwise, you're going to get bumps. And when you start getting bumps, that could turn into keloids. And when you start getting keloids back there, it's a wrap. Congratulations, if you got keloids, you are, it's, 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 I don't know if it's any coming back from keloid, because I keloid. Like, I cut, like if I scratch myself or cut my knee or something, it will kind of keloid sometimes. So I was paranoid as hell about that. I was like, man, I do not want no keloid back there, bro. But that's all I got for today, man. You know, it's just a testament, man, to how things that people used to talk about as being bad or used to tease you about, Number one, is gonna make you stronger, number one. Because they used to tease me, and I turned into a monster when it come to joning and stuff like that. You don't wanna, you don't wanna join against me because I had a whole class laughing. But that's because I got joned so often about my head. And I became good at joning others. And number two, the thing that used to tease you about could become the thing that people praise you about. So this is Malcolm here on Malcolm Talks. Go ahead, subscribe to the channel. Shout out to all the bald head dudes out there, man. Go ahead and leave me a like, a comment or something. And I'm gonna holler at you guys next time, man. Peace.